Hey everybody, Part and Joe here. Welcome back for part 41 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And yes, this is another post-commentated video because we're doing another very annoying side quest. But don't worry, I think this is the final time we're going to be doing a post-commentary uh, video. So I met you guys here at the Forsaken Fortress because this is where we need to go to begin the next side quest. So you're going to want to come over here in this area and then scoop up some of this magical water. I've done it. I scooped up a little bit before... Um, by accident, uh, but this is, it's used for this side quest, but before we do that, actually, uh, we're gonna need to do that, but I would recommend, uh, talking to the great Deku Tree right here, because he's gonna do something magical that will, uh, help us on our journey. This is not necessary to do, you do not need to do this when doing the side quest, but I would recommend it if you do not know where to go. So just talk to him, and ask him about the Koroks. And basically, once you do that, I, I kind of did it multiple times, but completely by mistake. But once you do that, a magical thing on your map will appear. Now, you see these, like, blurred out little leaf things? Uh, that is where we have to go for this side quest. Now, you, now this side quest, what makes this side quest very annoying and tedious, you got 20 game time minutes to complete the side quest. Why do you have 20 game time minutes? Because this water here that we're about to scoop up here, this is magical force water. You can use it as multiple times, so you don't have to get refills, which is great. But it only lasts for 20 minutes. Once it, 20 minutes are up, it's gonna become stilled water, and then it'll become normal, and then it won't have its magical powers, and the side quest will be completely pointless. So yeah, just keep that in mind when doing this. So let's get the King of Red Lions, and basically it's self-explanatory. I really don't need to explain anything much, so. But I did for this, which is why it's very short. I just cut it to the islands and watering the plants. I mean, it's very boring, so this episode's going to be very boring. Um, but I will do my absolute best to make it the best episode that you've ever seen in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker in a Let's Play form. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. I'm just that kind of person, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? -ling -ling. So yeah, just follow the uh, leaves on your map and then... Should be good, should be good, should be good. So yeah, I really have nothing else to say. I mean, it's, it's basically self-explanatory. Uh, you can check the bottle, you can click on the bottle to see how much uh, time you have left. But, you know, other than that, it's pretty much self-explanatory. And also the islands that we are visiting, uh, we're going to have to revisit them eventually. Uh, skip everything. Even though you see a treasure chest, just skip it. Uh, you're going to have to come back because you only have a limited time. And if you mess up like that, you know, your time goes by even quicker. Which is great, right? No. Yeah, this is the unfortunate thing about 100% in this game in particular, that we have to do these annoying side quests. I'm not even going to fill in the maps, fish, or anything for this. I'm just going to go and do it. Uh, so basically, this one, you have to fall down this hole. Now, this one... Now, all these islands that we're visiting, or most of them anyways, we're going to be having to visit again for something magical and things like that. So just skip everything. Uh, don't even bother collecting the rupees. I might have picked up a couple here by accident. But essentially, just ignore them completely because... They'll just slow you down, and, um, you know, slowing you down is never, never a good thing. And I got really close to the mic, I don't know why. But I did, and I wouldn't ask questions. Uh, I was probably extremely not, extremely loud, which I sincerely apologize for. So we got these vine thingies to worry about, and then we got these, uh, piranha plant things. Or not piranha plant, what are they called? Bokobaba plant thingamajiggers. But it makes this one, which lets us go up, up, and away. Hala, haza, hala, bada, hakadamana. And now, you could use a Deku stick and light it on fire for this, which is what they intended for you to do. But if you have fire arrows, you can use that, which kind of, I think, saves time. Um, but that's just me. And once you do that, you will float away, like, into the gods. Right there. And then magic stuff will occur. And, oops, I turned on my fan by accident. I did not mean to do that. But anyways, once you do that, you can light uh, these trees. Trees kind of look like gyros from the Animal Crossing series. I don't know. Kind of look weird. But once you do that, and yeah. So those uh, leaf guys, you can talk to them, and they'll tell you how much time you have left. Or you can click on your bottle, which I do for some reason a lot. Uh, so either or to know your time. 
All right, so any second here now, I'm going to cut away and meet you guys at the next island. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, uh, because honestly, I didn't bother to keep it in in the recording, but I'm just going to go to that one. So yeah, here we go. And we are right about here. So yeah, look at that. Isn't that the magic of editing and post-commentary magicalness? Now imagine if I was doing this live or stream where you guys were in the same room as me watching as I do. Watch how I do. Watch how I does. You know what it is. Now this is the... I know this place. This is the oasis of magicalness that we will be coming back to here later in the game. A lot later, actually. Like, after we beat the final temple. Well, not the final, 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 final temple, but the next temple. We're going to be coming back here for magicalness. So, 14 minutes left. We're making great time here. And they give you plenty of time. 20 minutes. It doesn't sound like a lot of time, but trust me, it is uh, a lot of time. It's actually uh, the perfect amount, in my opinion. I, I, I find myself never to fail this thing. And I turned on the fan again. Don't know why. But anyways, going to go on to the next one. All right, here we are. I believe this is one of the great fairy islands to give you an upgrade on stuff. So this this one, you know, it's right there in your face. You don't have to do any obstacles or anything. So this one, I don't think... Yeah, this one we're not coming back to because we already went here. There's no point. So anyways, what are the plants? And it grows like magic. Okay. 13 minutes left. I don't know why I feel the need to... Always show it off and or do it, but I do. That's just uh, science for you. Yeah, I use the Palette of the Gales a lot. I would recommend doing that to save time because it really does save time. It doesn't actually affect your time in any way other than positive. So I would recommend using it as much as possible. So, yeah! That is the story with that and or the such and yeah and i try to make this as little as short as possible because honestly i mean look at my commentary it's terrible i don't have anything to say because there's not much to say it's 100 percent self-explanatory once you see it the first time it's just the same thing over and over again until the final one the final one's actually a little it's a little bit different but don't worry it's almost over it'll all be over soon and if you guys are actually watching this you are pure awesome and i love you for doing it because you're hot and or the such but yeah, I can't wait to get this game done. We're halfway done. Can't wait. Seven months on this freaking Let's Play. Let's get it done. Let's move to something else, right? Because we gotta do Twilight Princess. Major voice crack there. Wow. Even though it was fake. Or was it? The world may never know. So now we are going... We got four more to go. Great Fish Isle, so it lets you teleport directly to one. Now, this one is not exactly on Great Fish Isle. It's actually, it's, it's, it's in the Great Fish Isle Square, but it's not on the actual Great Fish Isle. It's actually right on this spiral-looking thing. I think I went on it once before, but yeah, it's right in this. Or Link could jump off. That's, uh, that's cool, man. So yeah, just go up this uh, spiral mountain here, making sure not to fall off, because if you fall off, that will waste a ton of time, and wasting time is bad. You gotta be productive in life to get to what you want. Yeah, just doing that, and um... So yeah, we got little time, but don't worry, it's, a, it's enough time, man. I mean... Doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, it is. It goes by nice and smooth. So we have three, and I think we have like, what, ten minutes to do it in? Something like that. Alright, so here we are. This one has a lot of different elements. We need the Hoi pair, we need the ice arrows, we need the fire arrows. It just has a whole bunch of stuff to do. We need the Megaton Hammer, so we're just going to ignore everything completely to complete this annoying side quest. So 
So just dump that magical juice all over this thing, and he goes, Whoa, man, you brought me back to life. So, yeah. Checking again. We got eight minutes left. Oh, my God. What will I do? And here we are. This is this one I know. This is Mother and Child Island. I know this because we did the Goron Trading Cycle, so we went here at least six other times. And we're going to give it the sale because the sale will make it grow, right? Yeah, and I missed completely. So, yeah, it's, it's a good thing that this is infinite. And there's a Bluetooth Jelly, which I'm going to completely ignore. But, yeah, it's a good thing this is infinite water because uh, if it wasn't... Imagine having to go back and forth with only three bottles of water, man, that would be the most annoying thing ever. So they were pretty generous in that regards, but not a good side quest. And I did that there because you would see there's green leaves, that means you actually achieved it. Just to show you, it was really quick, so you might have to pause the video or whatever, but it was there, believe me. Alright, so this is Starfish Island, which is the home to the last one, so I'm going to say the outro right now, because that's great, right, before we even do it. But yeah, we'll, we will start here in the next part. So this is right here is going to end this episode right here after we water this guy and we're going to get a piece of heart. So this is going to end off for this episode. So next time, let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker after we get the heart piece. And when you see this magical tree, it goes, whoa, it's evolving. But next time, let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We're going to start here in Starfish Island. And then we're going to do the uh, holes here and then hopefully get some more pieces of heart and do a little bit more side quest stuff. And hopefully in the next few videos, we'll start our next temple. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Yeah!